Hello YouTubers, today we're going to do a timing belt on an A4. It's the ones where you have to basically take the whole front off. Which sounds a lot worse than what it is, but believe me, they're not too bad. And once you take the front off, they're a lot easier to get to. Now, the first thing we need to do is take off the front bumper. There's no point me showing you this, but I'll just explain where the bolts are. You've got a couple of bolts at the top. Obviously, you've got a line of bolts at the bottom. And then there's a couple at the side of each wheel. We're just, we're just inside the bumper here at each wheel. So what we're going to do first is we're going to whip off this bumper. Once you get the bumper off, we'll show you everything else. So we're going to do that first. Now, one thing I did forget to mention is there's two bolts just underneath the light and you get to them through the actual wheel. You can't see them, but I'll show you once we get the bumper off. And then it's just a couple of ones at the bottom. As you can see, these were the two bolts I was on about. Now, I've got an M10 splined tool that basically fits under here. You don't really have to take this off. It just makes your life easier to get to the bolts behind it to take off the actual uh, two little legs. This can be tight, this can be... Now, we're okay with this one. One, should be, yeah, loose now. Two. That's two, and again, we've been lucky with them. I've had ones that are a hell of a lot worse. Now, just to disconnect the two horns, but as you can see now, once this is out of the way, you can see these bolts a hell of a lot easier. And as you can see, they are a little bit rusty, so it's best to get, you know, nice and straight on them. So it's definitely best to take this off. So I'm just going to get a little screwdriver and take them off. Now, as you can see, we've just taken off this little clip and we've just pushed the thing to the side. <coughs> it's these stupid <laughs> Volkswagen German <laughs> Audi clips. They're a nightmare. Punch these ordinary clips. So we've got the two little legs here, two little crash legs. And there's three 13mm bolts and there's a little 10mm bolt. Now, what I suggest is don't get the air gun on these just yet because these can, again, these can be hard to take off. So just do it by hand. Once they're loose, if you want, you can get an air gun on. But first, just crack them. Now, to be fair, these are behaving themselves. Yeah. We've still got a few pipes and stuff this to disconnect, but as you can see, the front of it is nearly up. And uh, always best just to keep all these to one side. You can even put them in here and put them to one side. At least then you can't really lose them. So I'm going to whip off the other side and then uh, we'll get to... And as you can see also, there'll be a few clips and stuff. Now these, some of these clips you might not need to take off, so don't take them off yet. You'll know once we get obviously inside. We have to disconnect the, the switches or the, the wires to the lights and stuff, but again, we can do that once we physically start swinging this out of the way. Now, so what we need to do now is um, we're going to take off this cover because there's a couple of pipes we need to get to. Um, so it's just 10mm bolts. Not a big deal. The dog chasing the f crow. <laughs> Dog's life, eh? Now, you basically 
need to disconnect this radiator pipe, this intercooler pipe, and then there's a couple of uh, connections here for all the electrics. But we also need to do on the bottom, there's a, an engine mount, we need to take off that. So I'm just gonna get this ready to be taken off. We'll lift it up and we'll do the bottom engine mount and we're close to literally seeing the timing belt. So we're gonna whip it up. Now this is the uh, engine mount I was telling you about. There's three six mil Allen key heads on it. So we just need to whip off this. And again, the Allen keys, you have to make sure you get them square. Ugh. I couldn't remember, YouTubers, if it actually came apart or not. And as it turns out, it does. So you don't need to take this off. But it is a bit easier to line it back up if you do, and I'm not just saying that, but there we go. What we're gonna do while we're down here as well is disconnect the two intercooler pipes, just to make it easier for us. These can be annoying, so what we might have to do is, that's disconnected now, I can't, I'm struggling to push it back, but once we lift out, once we actually angle this front out, that pipe will come off, so I'm just gonna loosen them. I'm going to do the same with this one. Just going to loosen them. And once we get back to the top, we can uh, pull them out that way. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this down. There's a couple more things to disconnect, the water pipes and that, and a few electrics. And we're ready to uh, have a look at the timing belt. Now, as you can see, there's a couple of electric uh, sockets here. I've just disconnected them. We've got this uh, radiator pipe and we've got the bottom radiator pipe which is basically we, we can pull the pin out so what we need to do is we need to be careful at this stage because this is the stage now where we're literally on the limit of this completely coming off so we have to make sure it doesn't fall and break any of these pipes first thing we want to do is um, get a bucket a bucket underneath to catch most of the water you're not going to catch it all but you're going to catch most of it and i don't think the camera can see this can the camera see all the way down there Dan? Where the screwdriver is. You see that? Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is pull this pin up with the screwdriver and I'm going to release the bottom pipe. I see that. You getting that? Yeah. Now I should be able to literally pull this now. Obviously, when I do, there's going to be water coming out. Now, that's the bottom pipe done. Hopefully, we're catching most of that. Now, the top pipe, I'm going to disconnect here. Yeah. Uh, I'm almost sure we should be ready. We have to be careful. What's stopping us now? No, it's alright if you're just over there, John. Don't worry about that. Just... What's stopping me now is that bottom intercooler pipe because I, I couldn't pull it off from the bottom. So I'm going to have to try and twist it around now to get this bottom intercooler pipe off. This could be quite hard. Right, what I do is I'll turn the camera back on once I've got this pipe off, it's just going to be off. Oh, stupid. What? The, these pipes here disconnect from the car, which is brilliant. But this one, you have to cut the cable tight and disconnect it further down. Which is fucking pointless. And so why can't they just clip it there? I can't get to it. We'll worry about that in a second anyway. Now we have the bottom uh, intercooler pipe off. 
On this particular one, this is a 08 one, um, we have to take off the uh, power steering pipes because the power steering, uh, to swing it out this way, we need to take off the pipes. So obviously I've disconnected the actual um, clips. Now when you do this, obviously catch as much oil as you can, but obviously remember you might need to top up the oil for your power steering. Now, we should literally now, I think, be able to pull this across. Um, well, as it turns out, we can't because of because the int the. Uh, Air conditioner pipes go this way as well. So what we might have to do, we can't even do that side. What we might have to do is kind of leave it like this for the minute, unfortunately, rather than swinging it to the side. I normally swing these to the side, but this particular one, I actually can't, which is a bit annoying. But as you can see, we can still see everything nice so what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this for part one and obviously uh part two will be taking the, the actual belt off hope it helps thumbs up the video and subscribe and don't forget to get your hands dirty see for the next one